Hi guys, this is Fabiana from creativeswimwear.com and for this week I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful and small bikini. <laughs> so you can as you can see you can you know arrange the way you want this bikini. You can make it smaller or bigger, depends of how you like it. And um, so I use this square little pattern. So we, we are going to be working and learning how to work with two yarns at the same time to exchange colors. And um, it was really hard to find for me to find a tutorial of how to make this with double crochet because normally people use uh, make this using single crochet but I end up I ended up finding and as well I tried the four ply yarn but it didn't work really well so I used the fixation yarn and so let me show you here so yeah, this is the yarn, already used a bit of it, so I used the fixation yarn because I realized that I tried on cotton, like with the four ply, but you, because you see you have to run the, you have to run the yarn underneath your stitches uh, in between changes, so it didn't work really well with the four ply. I actually didn't like the result because you could actually see much more the um, yarn underneath it. But with this yarn, which is the cascade fixation yarn, you can fully hide it. So it ended up like, as you can see, it's really perfect. You can't really see the changes of the, the color underneath it. So to make a full set, so both sides, like both parts of your bikini, which is the, the top and the bottom, it took me two rows, so two 50 gram rows. If you're making a large, I would buy more. I would buy probably three of them. And I would buy probably, I would say more of the red, because I'm using more red here. I actually didn't use a full white, so probably more two reds and a white to make this set. Okay, if you want to put, I didn't put any any lining because it's not see-through, but sometimes I put lining just here, you know, just so it's easier to clean than that. Um, the, the lining I use polyamide lining or it can be lycra as well. So two rows of fixation yarn and my hook. I use the 2.1 millimeters hook number zero. That's not what it says in the in the pack in the uh, package of this row. It says to use. Let me see. I saw in another one, I think it's 3.5 millimeters, but I think it's really big for this yarn, so I'm using 2.1. And the reason why is because I want all the stitches to be really close together. I don't want any big gaps in between because it, it, it don't want to have a see-through bikini in these parts unless you want to put lining in every single one of them, so I'm not using lining on this one. But yeah, that's it. So that's why you need two balls of this yarn, which is 50 grams each. And so subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more bikini designs, I make one design every week. So it would be cool if you could subscribe because that help, that helps me a lot to make more bikinis. And also give me a like and leave me a comment if you like this amazing pattern that I just made. It's really cool. I'm gonna use that on the beach for sure. Um, to start this bottom, 
I'm going to make slip knot as always and then I'm going to make 37 chains after I made my uh, 37 chains I'm going to make one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four right here my first double crochet and then I'm gonna I'm going to make seven double crochets with this collar so three four five six make the seven seven double crochet just halfway because we are going to put the white from here and that's the way we're gonna be um, swapping colors so put the white through and then pull the red a bit not too much just a little bit and then work on top of the tail and on top of the red as well see they're all inside my stitch there so seven in white seven double crochets one to each chain with both the tail because I'm, I'm already covering the tail and the red because I need the red to swap here for the next seven so they, they'll be both inside my double crochets so I'm actually making crochet on top of them so four five six need seven stitches and I'm going to swap and use the red and then because I'm gonna go sev make seven with the red and on the next row I'm working with the red as well because it's three rows repeating this same uh, exchange of colors I don't I'm just leaving the uh, white there for now I'm not working on top of it and so I'm going to make seven stitches with the red and then start the next row with the red as well so six and then seven and then two chains and we're gonna turn our work and start the next row so one double crochet each double crochet and repeating the same color so we're gonna change exactly at the same spot you did before so seven here and now I'm going to use the white so you see here is a long kind of long yarn here so we're gonna put it the hook underneath like that and into the next stitch so this way you can really see we did that so and this is the back of my work anyway so it wouldn't really matter much but we want we don't want to show um, anything so just repeat the same row two more times okay and then we are gonna start decreasing on this bottom 
both sides are the same okay so I'm gonna make only one and then stitch this one to, to the other part but they are both the same front and back the same so just repeat this same row again always one double crochet each double crochet okay the third row here and now I'm going to swap colors on the next row so um, I'm working with the red now but I'm going to this time in this row because I'm swapping colors on the next one I'm going to work on top of the white because I need the white on the beginning of my next row so make seven stitches seven double crochets here and then I'm going to start also to decrease stitches on the next row so here before you make just the last stitch halfway so here you're gonna just pull the white through and start working with the white so this is the front of my piece so I'm leaving this red I'm working this red underneath because uh, so I'm bringing this underneath and on the back part of my piece so two chains here to start and then on top of that red yarn we are going to work one two double crochets together okay so because we need to start decreasing to make this bottom and so we are going to decrease one stitch on this side and one one stitch at the very end on the other side so after this we are just making double crochets and exchanging the colors from the row before so where I had white I'm gonna re have red where I had red I'm gonna have white so just keep working this way all the way to the end uh, leave the red on the back and um, make only six double crochets instead of seven so on this last one we'll be making only only one double crochet here in the middle of these two from before and now two chains and we are going to make on the beginning of each row from now two double crochets together to decrease another stitch and then where I had to swap colors before I'm going to do the same again so just pull it here underneath it and on the next stitch there and then pull the white a bit and work on top of the white to exchange the color again so repeat this row all the way to the end and at the end of this row we are going to decrease another stitch the same way we did before here I had two double crochets together so they are actually one stitch and my two chains which is count we count as another double crochet so we are just gonna make one double crochet here to decrease one more and now our two chains to turn our work and then two double crochets together again and 
and here one each like before swap the color put the hook behind here and inside the next double crochet and work on top of the white so just repeat that all the way and then on the next row we are going to swap colors again because we are making seven um, squares of seven by three rows okay so uh, we are going to, we are going to swap colors on the next row again here in this row we are going to finish with one only one stitch in this last two here and then with the red start the next row so one two turn your work put this white behind because we are in the on the front of our work now so put it work it behind pull it behind and you're gonna work two double crochets together on top of it because we are going yeah we are swapping colors again and one more double crochet here to swap to the white because we want white where we have the red so seven seven stitches with the white and then seven with the red and just repeat this all the way to the end again so turn your work here and then we are going to make two double crochets together so one two and then before you finish you change to the white color so we're gonna put the white all the way through and then underneath this and inside the next stitch and then seven again all the way to the end just repeating the same row you had underneath it so only two double crochets here in this last bit i didn't bring the white together because i'm going to make one more stitch with the red here before we change to the white so work two chains here and then we're going to work with the white from here so the white through after the two chains and then and then work here on this first one this first red here because we are going to decrease one here so we're gonna have to make one two together and because the second one is going to be on the white part of it we are we just started before so just the two chains here are going to be with the red and then the two stitches together are going we, you make with the white and then follow this row all the way to the end with the same colors you had before and on the next row we're going to swap again finish this row here with one double crochet in red same as i had here so always make sure you have the same number here and on this side it has to be the same okay and now i'm going to turn my work Okay, and put all this yarn on the back uh, white underneath and then work two 
chains with the red because here I already have three in white so I'm exchanging colors now and so here I'm going to make two double crochets together again with the red pull this white here and then I'm going to just repeat this row here swapping the colors after making seven stitches always and then at the end the end there I'll just uh, finish with the red again make sure you have the same number of reds here and here don't forget to count the two double crochets as one stitch not two So here I should have two, four, seven, eight stitches. Five, six, two, four. Six, seven, so seven stitches here. Two, four, six, and seven, so one here. So, yeah, I'm changing the color here, and I'm going to leave the white on the back. Actually, this is my front, so I'm going to leave the white on this side and stop working with it because I'm going to make the beginning, the end and the beginning of the next row with the red. So I don't need to bring this white, this white underneath it here. So make the same number of stitches you had on the other side, which is seven. Okay, seven here and seven here. And now two chains, turn the work and work two double crochets together at the beginning as always. And then repeat this two more times, always decreasing stitches on the beginning and at the end. I made two more rows, swap the colors, and now I have three, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches here, okay? So now we're gonna make the last row, um, the last rows uh, that we are going to swap colors because from now on I'm going to start using only the red because that's going to be in between the legs so in between the legs I'm going to make only in red there is no point of making all this pattern if it's not going to show anyway so making here three double crochets together two double crochets together plus my two chains like I always did and then put the red through because we are going to swap to red 
So because we did a few stitches here, we need to finish this third row with the white. We're going to keep using the white, bring the white underneath it, but that's going to be the last row. We will be using the white. So, and I, I want to have 10 double crochets uh, to repeat for the next few rows. So I'm going to only decrease until I have 10 double crochets left. So one. here and then from now on I'm going to just finish this white and work only with the red so I'm just gonna hide this this white later so it doesn't matter what it is and I, br I um, bring this red on the back so it doesn't show on the front and just put it inside where you had the red before, actually, here. So before you finish this last stitch, you make the red. And then you just leave the white like that. I can even cut it. I'm gonna leave a little tail and cut it and then work only with the red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and exactly 10 stitches here so after everything I decreased I end up here with 10 stitches so this is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 rows and I have 10 double crochets there now that I have 10 stitches counting with the two first chains I always count the two first chains as a double crochet. We'll be making 10 more rows of 10 double crochets. So one double crochet in each double crochet. And we're gonna have a total of 26 rows. Twenty six rows on each side. So twenty six that's fifty two. If I'm making if I'm making a large um, this is a medium. So if I'm making a small I would probably do go same way I did for the top, um, which is 7, 14, 21, 28, 28 plus 2, 30 chains to start. And if I'm making a large, I would be starting with 42, 44 chains here and then decreasing the same way and uh, instead of 26 to each side for a large I would probably have I would probably have two more in here so two more rows in each side and for a small uh, two rows less so Let's make here our 10 rows. So the total number of rows is 
26. So when you count 26 all the way from here to the end, you can stop and then leave a little tail at the end around around about this like uh, 25 inches big so we can uh, stitch both sides together here in the middle so it doesn't need to be very long but just leave a little tail at the end so we can put both join both sides together and then we're gonna work around the bikini with the white I finished both sides here as you can see in there exactly the same okay you could probably have more if you want more coverage you can just uh, start the back part with you know more chains and keep the same pattern and then make it uh, probably two or three rows longer if you want more coverage okay you can do like you know start with 50 chains instead of 37 that I had there and then you're gonna have more coverage but I made both the same because I just want a smaller coverage and now I finished all my my rows here so both sides have the same number of rows and I left a little tail which I'm gonna stitch now with my tapestry needle so um, I joined both fronts together like this because I want the stitching to be inside and not outside my bikini and so what I'm gonna do is just pass from the stitches on this side always from the back to the front like this Perfect, so just both both parts of your stitch on the back and on the front as well. And then you can finish uh, just make a knot at the end make a little knot and um, finish your yarn with this needle So just put through the last stitch here and the last stitch here. And then I just put it through a little stitch here. I'm going to make a little knot to close this. And then put it back through one, two, three, four, five. Cut it off. Finish this one as well. And 
and so that's how it looks like now okay so we are going to start working around the piece with the with our white yarn so I'm gonna make a row of single crochet around the entire piece and then we are going to make the strings after that to make the strings of this bikini I left around 25 inches of tail here and then with double yarn so with double yarn I'm going to make 200, um, 180 chains here I need to do this before I make the white around the the bottom and that's because that's because I'm going to make exactly like I made on the top so you can you know just arrange the way you want it so you need to do the straps before you finish the bikini so that's what I'm doing now and just when you finish your it's 180 chains when you finish them leave a little tail at the end as well because we are going to make a tassel to make a nice finishing for your straps as well so yeah let's make 180 chains here and then we come back to finish this work we made um, two strings with um, the tassels at the end i have another video i'm gonna put on the description below where i teach you how to make these tassels they're really easy to make okay so i've already made both and now I'm going to start working with single crochets all around the piece so starting one of the corners doesn't really matter which one it is on the right side of your bikini just pull it through and make a single crochet there and then you're gonna be making one single crochet um, in the middle and one single crochet in between every single row so it's two stitches to every row so two single crochets to every row I'm here covering that tail already so I don't have to finish it later okay and so just repeat that all the way around your piece and then when you get right on top of the other side we are going to cover this one of the first strap with single crochets okay so make it all the way to here and then I'm gonna show you how to cover the straps with single crochets so I got here to this corner and then now I'm going to get my my string I made before let's make sure you leave the same amount to each side it's around here okay and then put that underneath your work okay and then put it in between the first stitch and the second one and pull the yarn this way and then make a uh, single crochet there and then one chain skip one here and a single crochet on the next one chain and a single crochet 
So one chain, skip one here and another single crochet. One chain, skip one and another single crochet. So see I'm, I'm making the single crochets uh, long so I'm using more yarn to make them so I can just slide the string through underneath it. So just make it them the right you know the right height here okay so they're not too tight so you can't really move the string underneath it or too big that the string gets loose so just repeat this all the way to the end Okay, and then here, when we get here, I'm going to make two chains and make them underneath it go under. And then here, I'm going to start making my edges. So it's um, that single crochet there and then two chains after. And then a double crochet in that same single crochet. And then you're gonna skip one, two stitches and single crochet again. So one, two chains, double crochet in that same single crochet, skip one, two and single crochet. One, two chains, double crochet skip one two single crochet so repeat this all the way to the other side so this is the second the second string I already put the string uh, on the other side okay so I'm just making the edges here so I'm going to make this edge all the way to I get here in this last stitch and then here on top of this I'm going to make single crochets okay and that's and then after these single crochets here I'm going to repeat the edge on the other side as well but then I'll show you how to make this so this was my last single crochet uh, here for this edge and then I'm going to make two chains put this guy here up this way so I'm working on this on the front of my bikini okay on the right side so the finishing is facing right okay and so I made these two chains and I'm going underneath it right now and so in this first single crochet I'm going to make another single crochet and then one more here and then from here I'm making one chain skipping one single crochet one chain skip this one here single crochet one chain skip one single crochet and I'm going to repeat the, this all the way to the other side again. So here I already have this stitch, so I'm just making one single crochet here, one here, and one more here. So you know it's like looks like that now. Looks pretty much like the other side. And so now I'm going to make two chains and 
start repeating my edges all the way to the other side and then when I get here to the other side I'm going to repeat the single crochets on top of this and then this bikini is pretty much ready okay here. I'm just going to make a last stitch here and then one more here bring it up and then finish so just finish this yeah, this is how they make yarn. they make on the production in Bali in the um, in the factories. Uh, so they just single crochet on top of the strings, so you can still you know move. It, they do it. They use that for the triangle tops as well, because uh, it, it's just easier. They, you, instead of you going zigzagging around. Um, um, double crochet, double crochet row. You just make a single crochet row right on top of the string. So, yeah, this is our design. That's how it looks like. I really like the results. I really like how it looks like. And this is the top that goes with it. Oh, it's really cool. Huh? So if you like this this if you like this tutorial just give me a like on this on this tutorial and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making these beautiful designs for you guys every week because that's what I love doing. I really enjoy making new designs and teaching people how to do it and I think YouTube's a great channel for that. Thank you guys, I'll see you next week.